Hey everyone! So I managed to make it out and get some shopping done this weekend despite my sprained ankle, which is doing a little bit better, thankfully. So hopefully I will be able to take off my brace within the next day or two and be completely back to normal. But I was able to go out and I picked up some new fragrances for spring because I had none at all. And I also did a little bit of shopping at Ulta and picked up a few things there too. So I'm going to start with what I grabbed at Bath and Body Works. I got three things. First thing I grabbed is from their new Hawaiian collection. Uh, the scent is called Oahu Coconut Sunset. I got the body spray and I got the lotion. This smells absolutely amazing. It smells like a mix of, mm, almost like a mix of suntan lotion and a fruity drink. And it's really hard to describe, but it just smells so, so amazing. And it's, it's one of my favorites. I just had to grab it. And I will probably actually buy a second one of these so I have enough to last me through spring and summer because I love it that much. So if you like beachy coconut smells, definitely, definitely swing by a Bath and Body Works and check this out. I also picked up this one. This is Pure Paradise. It's, it's hard to describe. It almost has a salty ocean water smell mixed with like a very light floral scent so it's really nice it also smells very fresh and clean and reminds me of going down to the beaches in Florida next I went to Victoria's Secret and I was lucky and I actually stopped by there on a day they were having all their fragrance sprays for $5. I only picked up one, but I really, really like it. This one is a bit fruitier than the other ones I got. It's called Tropical Nights. It's a mix of fresh berries and hyacinth. It's um, it's a little bit younger, a little bit fresher smelling. It doesn't smell quite as quite as beach party like, and more like going shopping with your friends. If that makes sense, I'm not great at describing scents, but the best way I can describe them is in terms of situations. And this is definitely a out to lunch with friends, going for a walk on the beach kind of scent. Those are all the fragrances that I picked out for spring and summer so far. And if I find any more that I love, I will be sure to share them with you. So the last place I went was Ulta. Of course, they practically, I swear, they think I live there because I am there just that often. But I didn't pick up a lot. I only picked up four things. The first thing I got was from the new OPI Brazil collection. I actually have never owned an orange nail polish before, and this is a super bright, like, oranges and cream color. And it's actually called Where Did Susie's Man Go? Which is a play on mango, which I think is really, really cute. Um, I'm actually wearing this right now. I love this color. It is super bright, super cheerful, and I think it's perfect for spring and summer. Next, I picked up a new eyeliner pencil. This is from NYX. It's just one of the regular eyeliner pencils. Um, the color is teal. It's this color right here. And it says it's teal, but honestly, when I swatch it, it reads more as a mint shade to me, which is exactly what I was going for. I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial with this in the next couple weeks. 
Mint is going to be a big, big color for this next spring and summer, and I wanted to show you how you can incorporate it into an eye look that is wearable and very, very easy to do. So next I picked up, I want to try one of the new NYX Baked Blushes. It's supposed to be a blush, an illuminator, and a bronzer. The one I picked up is called Pink Fetish. Here it is. This is just a nice, super, super bright pink. It does have shimmer in it, so it's very illuminating. And it has a slight, very, very slight golden tone to it. Um, it's beautiful. I'm wearing this right now as well. And I will be doing a further review on this, letting you know what I think of it and whether I would buy more of these. So you'll just have to wait and find out. And the last thing I got, I'm also going to be doing a review on. I have waited forever to get this. Um, as you guys know, my eyebrows are crazy. They are pretty much non-existent, super light. Um, I pretty much have no outer third of my eyebrow, and it's not from over plucking, actually. It's just genetic. My mom has no outer eyebrow, so we all have to pencil it in. But the problem is, with pencil or with powder, which is what I use, you go to rub your eye, your hair brushes across it, Oops, where did half my eyebrow go? And an eyebrow pencil or powder is not exactly something that I like to carry with me and touch up in the bathroom when I'm out running errands. So I've been looking for a long time for something that would be just the right thing I needed to give my eyebrows color and shape and actually stay in place all at the same time. And I found it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Now, I know several people have already reviewed this, but most of the reviews I've seen are from people who actually have eyebrows. So this will be for those of us who have either very light or pretty much non-existent eyebrows on how to actually draw them in from scratch when you have very little to actually base them off of. But um, I got the color dark brown. I matched it not to my natural eyebrow, which is pretty much see-through, but I matched it to just slightly lighter than what my hair color is. I will also be doing a review on this as well as a full eyebrow routine and tutorial so you can see everything I do and how to do it. And let me just say this has made my eyebrows look better than anything else I've ever tried. I'm really happy with it. But I will go into more detail on that when I do a review on it which will be sometime next week. So keep an eye out for that. That's everything I got while I was out shopping. Oh, no, I am wrong. That is not everything else I got. I also got this. <laughs> I am an absolute coffee addict. This is a brand new insulated coffee mug. This will actually keep my coffee warm or hot for up to six hours, which is awesome for me because I'm constantly having to reheat my coffee because I'm either working or dealing with kids or something like that. So this is awesome. It's this gorgeous purple berry shade and oh, I just love it. It's my new best friend. So it's by Contigo and I got this at Target in case anybody's interested in it. And it has the lid. All you have to do is push this little button up and then you can drink out of it and you push it closed and it's just got the little hole plugged by the uh, plugged by a rubber stopper so this is awesome i love it it's so pretty and my coffee is actually hot and drinkable now i really hope you guys enjoyed this little haul video if you did please give it a thumbs up you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i'd love to have you guys here
You can also keep up with me on my website, which is joannabrooks.net. I go into a little bit more detail about all my videos on there, and also I post about different things on there as well. And you can also check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. I am pretty much everywhere. All the links for that are down below in the box. And if you have any questions or comments, I would love, love, love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.